Now we want to assess the comparison of measurement items between the Agilent DSOX 2000 and the GW Instec GDS 3000. First we test the Agilent DSOX 2000 2A. It is 70 MHz 2G sampling rate digital oscilloscope. Input a standard 1 kHz with 2 VPP calibration signal to channel 1 as a basic test signal. Press the default setup and auto set button to display waveform correctly. We can find there are not any measurement items on the display of the Agilent DSOX 2000A. If we want to know what frequency is, we must press measure button to display default measurement items by frequency and VPP. To increase the measurement, at most only four sets of measurement items can be chosen. When the cursor is selected, the original measurement items will disappear and become the cursor test item. Observing measurement items and cursor test items can't be executed at the same time, which is very inconvenient for users. Then, we test the GDS 3000 in the same condition. First we input a standard signal to channel 1 as a basic test signal during the validation of the Instec GDS 3000. When we press the default setup and auto set button, we can clear C6 digits frequency counter directly display on the right hand bottom of the screen. When we choose more measurement to add, up to 8 test items can be selected in a single screen. The frequency counter won't be disappeared when executing cursor test. Another independent cursor measurement is displayed on the top left screen. Besides, we can observe measurement item and cursor test item simultaneously. Compared to the Agilent DSOX 2000A, the GW Instec GDS 3000 can provide even more satisfactory measurement selection to user.